Good afternoon, everyone. JJ here from SchoolTrade.com, March 25th, 2010. Here's your live trade and recap. Hope you guys had a good time in the room this morning with us. Learned a little bit about the wave indicator. We took some wave trades, took some scalp trades. We looked at the doll this morning. Before we talk about the trades we took today, guys, I want to remind you all about our three links, three important links here on the YouTube page. If you're watching this video right now on the YouTube page, in the description, there's three important links. If you're not on the YouTube page right now, just double click on the video that will take you right to the YouTube page. And when you're there, guys, three links, one for our track record, one for our blog, and of course, one is also for our three-week trial. So make sure you guys check those out. We took, uh, let's see, quite a bit of activity today, guys. We took four trades on the scalping system, took two on the wave indicator today, had a bunch of members out there making a really good impact on the wave indicator today, guys. Congratulations to all the money out there you guys made today. Lost four ticks in the scalping system, but almost 60 ticks on the uh, wave indicator. Let's take a look at these trades. What's the most important thing that happened today? Well, the most important thing that happened today was the dollar told the story. But unfortunately, I didn't listen to it this morning, right? That was the, that was the, that was the tough part. We took the time this morning to go in and look at the dollar and then made a mental mistake with my first trade of the morning, not watching where the dollar was lined up, according with crude. We'll talk about that in a second, of course. Uh, but we need to listen to it. Right? If, if we're going to take the time to go out and look at the dollar, we have to be prepared to listen to the dollar as well. Okay, We got a little more aggressive on the wave entries today as well. And guys, make sure you guys come out and join us tomorrow morning. We're going to be keep keep dialing up the aggressive nature on these wave indicator entries. We saw fantastic results today, and we're going to keep it going tomorrow for you guys. All right, now here was, here was one of the wave trades we took, you guys. This is the first wave trade of the morning here at 1017. Now, a couple things here as you guys are getting used to, you know, used to using the wave indicator. The wave indicator, very simple. We're going to use it on a slower time frame. You'll notice up top, guys, upper left-hand corner here, you're going to see the signal fires off. Okay, signal fires off on the crude here about 945. We're then going to wait as price comes down. And once we start seeing price retrace off these lows, we're then going to grab our, our trigger zone tool. We had the trigger zone from the high to the low and it creates this trigger zone. We're then going to wait for price to get up into the trigger zone, looking to get into that trade inside the trigger zone here, and then we're going to take this trade short. Okay, that's exactly what we did here. So at 1017, we looked as the price got up into our trigger zone. We made sure all of our rules lined up. We made sure we were, of course, we had the medium time frames below the medium time frames. We wanted to make sure momentum is pointing down, wanted to have some good size and speed in the tape. And so as you can see, guys, here at 1017 on the crew, we get the wave entry short, 8104. Now, once we put the wave entry in, once I'm in the market, I now have the responsibility. I now need to place my stop. My stop's going to go up top of this red line. The stop, of course, now between 81.04 and 81.14 is a 10 tick stop. That 10 tick stop, I'm now going to use that now to adjust my targets. I'm going to take half that tar right, half that stop, so a five tick first target, and then a second target of 10 ticks. Okay, so I'm going to make First of all, find out what my stop's going to be. That stop's going to be your red line on your trigger zones. Once you have your stop, in this case, it's a 10 tick stop, right? 8104 was the entry, 8014 was is the uh, stop. That's a 10 tick stop. So a 10 tick stop for my first target, I'm going to take half of that number. That's five ticks. Second target is going to be equal to that number of 10 ticks, and then the third and final target is going to go all the way down bottom here at this swing low. Okay, so where you began to use your trigger zone tool, right? That low there, that's where your final target is going to be, and that's exactly what we got filled. We got filled at plus four. I'm sorry, plus five for the first target, plus 10 for the second target, and then plus 19 for that third and final target all the way down to the bottom. As you can see, we could have held on to it even more because it kept going. But a good example today, guys, simply follow those rules. The wave indicator, guys, we're looking to get more aggressive here as the day goes on. We're getting to know the wave indicator more and more. But as you guys can see, here's the first trade on the wave. Now, the second was actually a back-to-back -back winner here. The second one was a re-entry on the same move. Okay, see that? Here's the, here's the last trade Okay, at 10.17. Then, of course, fast forward 15 minutes earlier, 15 minutes later, and now here at 10.35, we have a second pattern setting up. So good example of where re-entries are always okay, guys. What's the rule, though? Waves come in threes. So we want to be careful. Anything more than two entries per signal, we're going to start looking at this price begin to reverse and start to slow down on us. So once again here, another wave entry. Okay, this one, of course, 1036. This is just a continuation of that move. The same signal up top here. Okay, now once we break to the downside, once we start moving back to the upside here, we look. We locate our low, and then, of course, using that previous high, right, that previous high up top there, we come down, right, grab our low, and then we wait for price to get in to that trigger zone. So price then, of course, comes up, gets us into the trigger zone for a short trade. Okay, here, of course, that short entry would have been right in here, right, just below that trigger line right there. Can't see it over here. Right, but that's going to be here at 80.82. Trigger line was at 80.83. We're looking to get in somewhere between 80 and 83. Makes sense? Somewhere between that 80 and 83 level there. 
because the trigger line there was 83. So a couple ticks, of course, before the trigger line, two, three ticks before. You can place your limit order there. You can wait to put a marker order in. Plenty of time to get in the trade. Of course, we then have to, of course, make sure we take care of our stops. Right now, my stop loss, of course, is going to be up here. Right up here, what's it going to be? 80, 90. Right, 80, 90. So, of course, now with a stop loss at 80, 90 and an entry here at 82, what is that? That's an eight tick stop. Okay, 82 is my entry fill. 80, 90 is my stop. Right, 90 is my stop up here. Okay, that's going to be an eight tick stop. So, where's my targets go? My targets are going to be, I'm sorry, it was a 10 tick stop. Excuse me. It was actually nine, yeah, it was, it was, it was 92. Yep, 82 to 92. That's what it was. So, it's a 10 tick stop. Okay, so you're going to cut that stop in half. Five tick first target. Of course, then it's the exact same for your second target. So a 10 tick stop plus five plus 10. What happened here was, right, there's your entry inside the zone. Came down, got our plus five, got our plus 10, and then reverse right back up against us at our point of entry for a scratch. Okay, so of course, 20 ticks in, 80, 82. A re-entry, obviously, second entry off this wave signal here. Okay, so you guys can see real quickly here how easy it is to pick up some serious profit using the wave indicator. Then we come over, guys, back to the scalping system. Back to the scalping system here. The first trend in the scalping system this morning was on crude at 9 o'clock. Now, here's what was going on at 9 o'clock at that time. Here's the snapshot of what was going on at that time. You can see on the left-hand side is the dollar. The right-hand side is the crude. So there's, there's the dollar index on the left, and there's the crude on the right. Now, notice, guys, we did, we did our homework. We did a great job at going out and finding where was the choppy area going to be. 82 even was a double bottom and a big round number. So we knew as long as we were trading around 82 even, we had to be careful. Well, apparently, I didn't want to take my own advice because only five seconds later, we saw the first trade of the day set up. Of course, a two-step pattern short. Now, when you look at the trade here, it's screaming short, right? You've got this, you've got this big jump up, right? This big, fast, strong jump up, of course, at the high of day. We're always looking for that two-step, right? Bouncing off the highs. So we were expecting, we were drooling over this two-step short. But again, didn't follow my own advice. Should have waited because what did we see? We saw it end up being a very choppy set of price action here. We, of course, got short at 823. All of our rules lined up, except we failed. I failed, of course, right, to identify the market being in that wrong place at the wrong time on the dollar. So momentum curled, Price bounced extremely fast and took my stop off. That one hurt. And we never really got a chance to kind of really dig our way out of that. We took two more trades here, both on both on gold, trying to finish up our day. Got got winners out of them, but that full stop, of course, requires a little bit more than just a plus four scratch. You can see here the first, the next two trades here on gold. Okay, we had two more winners, right? We took the first stop. The first trade on the scalping system was a stop. The second two were winners, but the market at this time just really started to slow down. Geithner speaking at 1.30, Bernanke speaking at 10.30 this morning, 10 o'clock this morning. Things really began to slow down. The dollar was just creeping along very slow. So normally, we're going to have plenty of opportunity to get this money back, right? We did, but the market didn't give us much chance to really make much, money, much more money here. Trade here on gold at 9.45. The next two trades on gold, 9.45 here, short-term trends down. As you can see, we kind of reversed the short-term trend. The sellers are nowhere to be found. We bounce above this red line, mark up our swing high, and there's your entry for a two-step pattern long. 92.6, there's your, there's your first winner in the scalping system. Plus four, plus one, it's going to be 10 ticks. Next up, of course... Price continues back to the short-term trend. We break through this red line here, right? The red line there, just below the 90s levels. And then we have, of course, at 10 o'clock, a breaker pattern short. We break below our swing low. And there's your entry for your breaker pattern short. 89.7 was the fill, plus four target. Move a stop down to entry minus one. That locks out all the risk, locks in all the profit. And at 10.01, we have another 100 bucks. So between 9.45 and 10 o'clock, we made another 20 ticks. But of course, we had already given back 24 ticks on the crew for the first trade. So pretty much a scratch day here, guys, on the scalping method. A big winning day, though, as you can see here on the wave indicator method. And guys, we'll keep that up tomorrow. Make sure you guys come back and join us. Don't miss a tick tomorrow. Friday, of course, tomorrow's Friday, March 26th. Sorry about that, guys. Wrong date. Friday, March 26th. Tomorrow, we have 8.30, fourth quarter GDP estimates. And 9.55, we have our consumer sentiment. We might just throw in a free webinar tomorrow about the wave indicator. So make sure you guys come out for us tomorrow morning. Tomorrow's a Friday, so we will, of course, be expecting things to finish up a little bit earlier. So come out and join us early tomorrow morning. Trader Room is up tomorrow, 7.45 Eastern Time. Make sure you guys come out and join us. At 7.45, we go over the entire setup process. You guys don't want to miss that. We do webinars in our trade room on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Make sure you guys are here for that. If you want more information about lifetime membership, about all of our indicators, all of our rules, just drop us an email, sales at schooloftrade.com. And don't forget, guys, if you want to know more about our entry rules and our patterns and our routine, 
help you guys along with us as part of your free trial. The beginner's course is designed for new traders. My name is Joseph James. Hope the video helps, guys. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye-bye for now.